Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here and I am really excited to share with you what I have been up to this past week. I participated in the Close to My Heart virtual album retreat. Now Close to My Heart does uh, three album retreats a year and they're all virtual which I love because one I can afford to go to all of them I don't have to worry about plane tickets and hotel and food expenses and all that stuff I can do it in the comfort of my own home and if I can't join live or if I fall behind we have the replay videos that we can watch whenever we want however many times we want um whatever way they're available indefinitely so it's really really awesome and that is why i haven't been creating on my youtube channel because i spent the last three days creating 22 pages 11 two page layouts and another awesome feature about virtual album retreat is your bundle comes with all your paper pre-cut. You heard me correctly. And if you ever make kits and cut paper, you know how tedious that can be. Yep, Close to My Heart does all the cutting for us. And they give us really cool exclusive product as well as embellishments and all the things. And I'm going to share that with you after I show you my pages. Each album retreat has a theme. And the theme of this November 2023 album retreat was an outdoor theme. And there was a bit of interactive elements on some of the pages. So I am really excited to put my photos on my pages but I wanted to show you the pages without the photos so that you could keep an open mind as to what kind of pictures you want to put on them. They do, they can lend themselves to a vacation theme. So you could put vacation photos on these. You can use all of the pages on one vacation or you can mix and match or you could just do everyday life with these pages. So the options are endless. So we'll go ahead and take a peek. This is the first two page layout and you'll see throughout the pages, lots of stenciling. We got a really cool exclusive stencil that Close to My Heart created just for those at Album Retreat. And I'm gonna show you that stencil when I get done sharing these pages with you. We got um, not one, but two exclusive stamp sets. We've got a alphabet set and then we got a two carrier sheet set. So all the stamping images are from that stamp set and um, then we got a whole bunch of embellishments. We got several packs of dots. We, we got Journey and the yellow orange and the green and we got, got wood grain shapes and we got sparkles. So there is page or the, the left side of page one. And then here is another. Again, you'll see lots of that sponging. I did some 3D foam tape. Oh, we also got a whole roll of pine shimmer trim. So there's one page. Here is the next page. And again, I know I already mentioned, but everything was pre-cut for us. So we learned a really cool sponging technique for our title. Lots of stamping. Um, oh, we got uh, exclusive die cuts. We got limeade die cuts. We got um, acorn die cuts. And we got um, journey die cuts. We got uh, journey glitter paper bits. You can see we did some tone on tone stamping here. And then here is the coordinating page and this is stenciling. And again, you can see this nice cluster up here. This is all stamping. And even though I have been a consultant or a maker for 25 plus years and I have been scrapbooking for many years prior to that, I learn so much at the album retreats. So here is the next one. I love this whole design with the layered paper. It's so simple, but what a striking page this is. So you, again, you can see some stamping, lots of the dots and the die cuts. This was a stamp. And then this is our limeade die cuts that we got. 
lots of room for photo and if you have more photos than what the page allows they all fit our flip flap sizes okay this one is really cool this one is um an interactive so this little arrow moves up and this comes down like that. How cool is that? Now, it would have taken me, I probably would, would have given up. I, I would have never been able to figure out all of this. And I wouldn't have been able to get my path just so. I love this was a Cricut cut that they gave us. All our triangles were cut. Um, you can see we did some splattering, more stamping. And I just love that interactive element so excited to put photos on here here we did stenciling kind of that ombre look and again all that fun embellishment clusters love 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 this so this is actually an overlay again i would have my brain would have never been able to do that all these pieces were pre-cut for us but how fun kind of like that quilted hill um, look we did some more stenciling with our exclusive stencil uh, stamping with our alphabet set and then our other set and then this is stenciling I love that the you can find is from exclusive acorn die cuts more stenciling and splattering and paper layering I love how this came out I love 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 that page that page is like frameable I think just fabulous. This was a really fun page where we just did some sliding with our ink pads and Close to My Heart gave us a really cool like kind of man-made stencil out of cardstock that we put on our page and then we could just slide our ink pad right in the middle of the cutout frame which was really cool. These are all um, from our die cut sheet and then uh, stamping Again, you can see some more stamping there and our wood grain shapes and our dots. And then over here, I love this cluster. I'm in love with the backpack. Did stenciling there. So a fun technique. And all these techniques you can use, carry over onto future scrapbook pages, card that you make, any kind of paper crafting. Okay, this is another great one. Can you see all the stenciling of the cloud? That's part of the exclusive stencil we got. We colored in some of the images on our pattern paper. You can see little bits of um, shimmer trim. And then these are uh, our exclusive die cuts more stenciling and check out the trees here isn't that fun and then some of the wood grain uh, shapes and some more stamping and then here is this page and what i love on the coordinating page is this little cluster right here with the tree we actually stenciled the tree trunk and then the tree uh, leaves are just circles that were already cut out for us and then we actually sponged over pattern paper and it gave it a whole different look and you can see my clouds in the back as well okay here is the next one again my point of view that was all exclusive die cuts and the faux washi tape is die cuts this was a wood grain shape we've got uh, shimmer trim and dots we did paper tearing and we did sponging just to make the title pop a little bit more and sponging down here. This is a really fun little embellishment cluster with stamps. And then over here, lots of room for photos. And again, you can see stamping and stamping up here and fun little embellishment clusters. Lots of room for photos. And then we've got this one and you can see all of that cloud stenciling. Isn't that awesome? And that's something we can use on everything. We did splattering. Another product we got was the Journey Shimmer Brush. Journey is our color of the year. Um, some more stamping and embellishments. This is all done stamping and all these circles were cut for us. We had a whole 12 by 12 sheet of white daisy die cuts that we just stamped on so we didn't have to cut them out the mountains this is all part of that exclusive stencil as is the trees and then we we learned how to do the ombre uh 
stamping on our title. This was stamped and then these were die cuts and the journey was a die cut that we just stamped over. And then this is a little interactive element where we can add our journaling right there, which is really fun. And then we have another one right here. And you can see we did stenciling down here. So we, we stenciled mountains, we stenciled trees, and we stenciled the, the waves. And then this is tone on tone stamping. And then this one, uh, this was stamped and then that was a paper um, die cut. And then we learned how this was actually torn paper. We tore that and just rolled it back to reveal the photo and we glued this down. So how fun is that? We did shimmer trim, the month, day and year that's stamped. This is stamped, all of this is stamped. And then last but certainly not least is this page. Now I was asked um, by a customer which page was my favorite and I really love them all. But I, if I had to choose one, I think I love this one because I love the colors. We've got um, acorn and pumpkin and journey and honey butter. Um, and jade and I just it's just a happy collection of colors the sun is sponge we did lots of splattering these the, the breath of fresh air those were all from the exclusive die cut sheet we did some ombre stamping here and some more stamping there you can see all our little clusters of embellishments the wave was stenciled we did that sponging on patterned paper to give it a totally different look. And then check this interactive element out. This slides like that and you open this like this. How fun. And then there is, like I mentioned, all each of these two page layouts is an individual class where close to my heart literally takes us step by step on how to build every little thing, how to stamp, how to stencil. They do it all right there with us. And then there is a bonus video where they show us how to cut our page protectors for those pages with interactive elements. You do get page protectors for every single one of your pages as well. So let me show you the exclusive product. So this is that 12 by 12 stencil. I put it on top of a piece of paper, so hopefully you can see. But this up at the top, this is like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. This is like 12 stencils in one. So at up at the top, you can see the cloud. So you can use that for clouds. You can use it for sand. You can use it for snow. So many things. And it's 12 by 12. So if you do 12 by 12 scrapbooking, you're golden. But if you do smaller sizes, you can still use it. Here is the mountain range. So there's the base. And then this would fit right over it. And you can have the, um, the details like snow cap mountains. So I'm just pulling in my page. So we sponge the solid. And then you lay this one over it and you sponge over it so you can do whatever colors you want. And it's done in seconds and it's done perfectly. Here is that sun. And then here's the, the tree trunk. And then we have two different kinds of tree tops. And then here are our waves. So they're great for waves, but this could also be just a design element. And then we have one tree here and then we have a row of trees. These are gonna be great for Christmas, but also last February, my husband and I went to Whitefish, Montana. We went snowmobiling and they took us way up high. I forget how, what the altitude was, but I have never seen a winter wonderland like I did there. That was like, um, my Disneyland. I just love snow and these are going to be great for those pages. And then these are just a series of four lines and those are great. We use those for journaling lines. 
So this was made exclusively for those who participated in album retreat. It's not for sale. It is a um, collector's item, if you will. And then let me show you the two stamp sets. So this was our alphabet set. It's a solid set. We have all the capital letters. We have an exclamation point, a question mark, and then we have all the numbers. And then this was our E-size set. And E-size means it's two carrier sheets. So this is the first side. So we've got all these words. And again, you can use these for so many different things. This is great. We use that for lines or we use that to stamp over things to make them kind of like a, a swash like this one. We've got the compass. You got just so many great little um, things that you could use for so many different things. I especially love the enjoy and you can stamp that up in whatever color and leave it or you could color it in. And then this was the second sheet. So we've got a tree, we got the topography um, image, that postage stamp image, we've got a map, another tag, all these little words. I love the mountain range and the geo tag, the Jeep and the backpack are darling. Um, love the star cluster. Just great sets that you can use with so many different things. And as I mentioned, we got all, we got, a pack of the green dots, the orange dots, the uh, the journey dots. We got a whole package of the wood grain die cuts. Uh, we got a pack of the sparkles. Of course, I used all of those. So it is a, a phenomenal experience, opportunity, and an investment. You do get uh, a file on the private Facebook group where they give you the step-by-step -step instruction. So if you'd rather just read and do follow along that way you can as well as pictures of all of the pages so you are good to go and the good thing is i think as of yesterday there were still five bundles left so if this is something you think you might want to create whether it be for you or to give as a gift this would be a great thing to do as a christmas gift for the or a hanukkah gift for the holidays coming up it's not too late. You can go to my website and purchase the bundle and then you will be invited to that private Facebook group and all of the classes are there and they will remain there indefinitely. So, um, and you'll get all of that exclusive product. And I also want to share this with you because there is another album retreat coming up the end of February and they announced it in the the album retreat last week. Um, the, the retreat bundle will go on sale in December and they were even allowed to tell us the theme. It's going to be like um, everyday moments. So that's going to be exciting. In my 25 plus years, with close to my heart, um, as a maker, I was a customer prior to that, I have been to every album retreat but one. So back when they were doing them in person, they only did one a year, and I went to every single live one except for one, and I was so sad when I missed that, and I said I would never miss it again. Um, and then since COVID, they've been doing three a year virtually, and that was one of the good things that COVID brought out because if they weren't virtual, I wouldn't be able to do them all. And I would be really sad because the album retreat albums are my most favorite um, albums of all. They're the ones where I allow myself the time to really create and um, they're priceless. So thank you for letting me share all of this with you. Um, if you haven't already, if you are willing to, to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Know of anybody who might be interested in this, go ahead and share it. And I look forward to coming back really soon with some projects created using all the fabulous new product in our new November, December idea book. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.